Good afternoon, this is Gabriel Jackton, and welcome to BGC Mitzvah Day number 15. A mitzvah day keeps your soul in its way. We are using the Sefer Chinuch. And this mitzvah is found, once again, in the second book, Shmos, Exodus, Parshas Bo. The prohibition to remove meat of the Pesach offering outside. Quick introduction. The Pesach offering is slaughtered on the 14th of the Jewish month of Nisan on behalf of the group of individuals who had registered for it. That was in Mitzvah number five. And the members of the group gathered that night, the night of the 15th of Nisan, to eat it. That was Mitzvah number six. Due to its status as sacrificial meat in the category of Kadashim Kalim, offerings of lesser holiness, the meat of the Pesach offering must be consumed within the walled area of Jerusalem. Moreover, each group that comes together to eat the meat of its offering must consume the meat in a single area or room within the city of Jerusalem, as stated at the beginning of the verse cited above, which says, Bebayis echad yechal, in one house shall it be eaten. The mitzvah discusses the prohibition stated in the next clause of the verse against removing meat from that location. We are commanded not to take out any of the meat of the Pesach offering from the location of the group that is that has gathered to eat it, as it is stated, you shall not remove any of the meat from the house outside. Among the underlying purposes of this mitzvah is what we have written above with regard to the slaughter of the Pesach offering in mitzvah number five, namely that it serves as a remembrance of the miracles that Hashem performed for us in Egypt at the time of the Exodus. This is the general purpose of all mitzvahs pertaining to the Pesach offering. The Chinuch explains how this applies specifically to this prohibition. Since through our redemption from bondage, we became lords. We were elevated to a status of nobility. A commandment was given regarding the Pesach, that is to be eaten only in the location of the group that has gathered to eat it. And they were not to bring it outside of that location. For this is a display of royalty, as it is the manner of the kings of the earth, that all the food that is prepared for their meals is eaten in their palaces, with many people in their company, and nothing is, to, is removed to be eaten elsewhere. The poor people of the land, however, when they prepare a large feast, send out portions from that feast to their friends, because for them it is a novelty to have such a meal. The laws of this mitzvah include, for example, what the law is regarding Pesach meat that has gone out of its prescribed area. The laws include also the perimeter that the group is required to form to distinguish its area of consumption from that of another group. And the law pertaining to a situation where the partition between two different groups was breached. These laws and the additional details of this mitzvah are elaborated in tractate Psachim. This mitzvah applies in the time of the Beis Hamikdash, the temple may be rebuilt speedily in her days for both men and women. One who transgresses this mitzvah and takes meat of the Pesach out of its area of consumption has transgressed a prohibition and one incurs Malkus lashes for this violation. This is so, however, only where he performs an act of lifting up the meat from the house and setting it down outside. Similar to the well-known law pertaining to the prohibition of taking out from one domain to another on the Sabbath. And that was your mitzvah. Thanks for listening to Sponsorship Mitzvah. 36, 100 for the gold. We appreciate your sponsorship. See you tomorrow.